Hey guys, my name is Rexing and welcome back to some more Let's Play RFL. Last time around, we asked the king for passage through to the Cave of Life and we also did some side questing stuff. Um, but today we're actually going to go ahead and continue on our path because if we take a look at the map here, uh, yeah, we're making our way to the Cave of Life which should be somewhere around here. Um, is it this? Is this the Cave of Life? Yes, it is. Okay, let's uh, head inside. Ah, the Cave of Life. Through this lies Diane's Gully, Orleon Temple, and the village beneath it. These caves provide warmth for RFL and can become quite hot at certain points. Be careful treading through here. I'm guessing we're gonna encounter some fire enemies, but uh, I, I am confident I can pull this off. And yeah, we received word that it's open for travel. They're still dangerous creatures, but uh, we should be okay, I think. I don't know, we'll probably encounter one of those orbs. Yeah, here is one. Level 16. I think we are well over that. Let's see what we can fight here. Um, start with a Cyclone 2. Okay, that does pretty well. Uh, Lita, I want you to scout. We have some goblins as well as a mage. Let's scout the mage. Yeah, 250 HP, that's not a lot at all. And of course, Sarikesu. Elemental Personal for 300 is so good. It's so good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving that so much. Oh, that's, that's a lot of enemies. I'm gonna see what else is around first. Some fire tornadoes. Okay, that, that's lovely. What, what's down here? Well, there's some other enemies here. Um. Let's, uh, crawler and sprite. Uh, you just attack one of the crawlers. With Lita, I think I want to scout the sprite, though. 400 HP, okay. It's not too bad. Um, and we're gonna just elemental burst all of you. Ah, oh, you actually survived it. Okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, just attack one of the crawlers. Let's see. Okay, your damage output is starting to become a bit more respectable. Um, and we scouted the sprite already. Let's scout one of the crawlers. 300 HP. Not not too impressive either. Let's uh, take out the sprite though. I don't like mages. Not at all. Oh, oh wow. Her HP was that low? I was not paying any attention at all to Sarikase's HP. Well, we'll just finish this battle and we'll heal her off at heal her up afterwards. That should be fine. Um, how about we do a power strike to make sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and go to our skills and heal all. Is it necessary to heal all? Eh, yes, it's probably worth it there we go i'm fine wasting some of uh, his mp because it's not too needed oh we have a flamestone that reminds me we do have some stones don't we plus five attack permanently i want to give that to lida earthstone plus five defense that's gonna go to adrian and any other stuff that we have? Oh no, we need to sell some of this stuff too. But we have a lot of money. I actually, in between episodes, also bought all level 2 skills that were available. So, uh, yeah, we are very, very well equipped for this, I think. Oh, we can exit out from here and go through here. I'm not sure if this is the pod where we're supposed to go. That's the only... I problem like i might be skipping a lot of stuff on accident if i am don't worry i'll come back i'll come back for it uh, so we can't jump up there we'll have to swim across here was that one cave over there i guess that's the only thing we can enter uh we'll save our game then this cave seems scary let's enter it anyway Oh, some tentacles. Oh, for love of... What is it now? 
Well, whatever it is, it sounds big. Oh. Okay. 4,500 HP. 10 MP, that's not too bad. Seems to have pretty weak defense, pretty good mind. The Grand Worm is a powerful beast that casts Earth spells and is healed by nature magic. It has no sneaky tricks but deals an intense amount of damage. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and... I think we want to mark it. That, that just seems to work well for me in these big battles. Oh, it starts with a miss. That... I will happily, happily take that. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy Elven Focus 2, so that, that's a bit of a shame. Um, I'm going to use Elven Focus 1, though. That will still help me. Sarikesu, just do Elemental Burst. We can do it a lot now. Yeah, that still does decently. Uh, let's do Song of the Elves on everyone. Although, ooh. It does look like we are getting a little bit hurt there. Um, let's see. Let's do a Shield Bash. 93. That's not... That's not great. Elemental Burst. Okay, and hopefully Doran gets a turn here. Okay. Uh, you need to heal yourself. Really badly. Okay. That was just in time. Let's do another attack. Oh, you're still poisoned though. You need to cure your poison. And Adrian's poison as well now. I don't want to do it with you though. Um, let's see. What do we have? Cures all status ailments. Uh, let's start on Doran. And Lida, you can attack for 100. And you can use one on Adrian. There we go, that works. Uh, we're getting low on health again though. He does hit hard. That, that much is definitely very, very true. Let's do a Holy Arrow. And I have to just hope that Dorn's turn comes around fast enough where I can do a heal all. Because that would be so good right now. Let's do a power strike. 200. Okay, yes. Heal all. Boom. Very nice. And we can just keep doing the elemental bursts. Her MP just does not run out anymore with this new skill. It's so good. I, I, I absolutely love that item that I crafted for uh, Sari Keisu. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do a heal on someone? I think I actually am going to defend for a turn, get some back. Do another power strike here. And then next time Dorn's turn comes around, hopefully we're in time with a uh, power strike. Or with a hero, I mean. Okay. Well, let's do another elemental burst. Oh yeah, and it's down. Okay, that, that went well. Although, I just noticed. Adrian survived on 1 HP. That's clutch. That's very clutch. And we get some level ups. The Grand Worm has been defeated. Alright. Okay, Lita, how about we upgrade your attack some more? And you, um, let's upgrade your magic just so we can do two things. Because most of his skills cost like 10 and we can only do one at a time right now. Okay, what does this change? Oh, it drops that ladder. That's useful. I still feel like I skipped like half the dungeon though. Should I go back and check it? Yeah, I'll check up here first. Might as well since I am right next to it and I did open it up. So it probably matters. We've obtained the key. Okay, so we might have needed that key. Let's see. Okay, we can jump down there. We can't jump up there, so we have to jump down here. Oh, and this brings us back in here. Okay, and... Something shiny there. There's a door with a key. I guess we should open that. 
That makes a lot of sense. Oh, there is some mysterious stranger there. Um, you, whoever you are, whatever your reason for being here, I would have your assistance if you will give it. My name is Garrick. I barricaded myself in here for protection against the demons that swarm in this place. I'm glad to finally see another human face. Well, hello there, creepy stranger in the mask. What can I do for you? Save my life and many others, if you'll agree to help me. I've come here from Silvera to put a stop to the summoning of an archfiend. Awesome, I think you need me to help you stop it? I need someone to help stop it. There are more lesser demons involved in the summoning than I expected. If this is true, the summoning is successful, the Archfiend will wreak havoc. Alright, Tuxedo Mask, what's the plan? I'm not certain, I am no fighter. This may seem cowardly, but if I become injured in battle, I may be unable to stop the ritual. There are, however, rumors of a relic power hidden somewhere in the ruined city below. If true, this item can be used to amplify magic energy. If you can retrieve it, I may be able to use it to stop the summoning and overcome that horde of demons. If not, I'm uncertain what to do next. We may be able to face them together, but it will be a bloody battle at best. If the Archfiend is as powerful as I suspect, it will be a slaughter. I suppose you won't be using this relic thing to kill everybody and try to conquer our fell? Even if I wanted to, I lack the ability to use the destructive magic required. Perhaps the lady traveling with you would have better luck. A tempting offer, stranger. Fortunately, my present goal is to save our fell, not enslave it. Perhaps one were true. Remind me to stay in your good sight then. Take this dispelling rod and use it on the illusory wall below. You can see a glimmer of light where the spell is anchored to the material world. Use the dispelling rod at this location. Well, we can't find a horde, so I guess that sells it. We'll be back with your whatever it is. And I will be here. May the goddess watch over you, adventurers. Okay, so, uh, strange man. Let's, uh, try this then. That looks pretty cool. And we're further into the dungeon. I still don't really know if I skipped a lot of this dungeon. But I guess it can't be helped. I mean, I could always go back if I really thought I needed to. What's inside this room? Okay, we got another key. That should come in helpful. Um, and there's two doors. Let's try door on the left first. Doesn't seem to have much. Yeah, we can't even do anything. What about door on the right? There's a monster in there, and then pretty much again, you know, a whole bunch of nothing. Okay, so down here we got the key, but that seems to be all that is down here. So okay there with the blue gem. What did the gems do again? Where even is it? It's just a pretty gem. It doesn't do anything then? I, I don't know. I'll figure it out at some point, I'm sure. Can we jump up? We can indeed. Although, again, nothing there. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're gonna move up from here. There's another door. It's dark in here. There's a teleport. A pink gem. Do we need to collect all different colored gems? So this warp says nowhere, it spawns a bridge. I mean, that's useful. So I'll take it. But it's not what I was expecting. Yeah, it's, it's what we needed though to get across here. Okay, let's see. There's some shiny stuff up here. Yeah, we need to dispel that somehow. Probably with a gem puzzle, is my guess. Let's go through here. 
Hello. Hey there, you're not going to attack me, are you? I don't intend to. I created a seal to protect the artifact, but was locked in this room by adventurers long ago. I rarely receive visitors down here. Are you here for my treasure? Probably. Some weird guy in the moss asked me to find an ancient relic that can amplify magic. Is that so? That person must mean Miriel's brooch. I'm sorry, the object is mine. I'll not give it up. Is that what we're searching for, Lita? Meryl's brooch is an artifact of power. Do you know about that? I assume such knowledge had been lost to the ages. Another elven spirit named Asari told me about it. She said I'm the one who has to break the stone curse. We have three other artifacts already. Asari? How it's been so very long since I last spoke to her. I must admit I am wary of this place. Perhaps I will give you Meryl's brooch after all. I'm sure the elven council will understand. If they ever awaken. At any rate, I will break the seal. But it required three magical gems to do so. They are around here somewhere. You'll forgive me for forgetting their location after a thousand years of guarding the cave, I hope. Find them and return to me. I see I've found at least one of them already. Good. But there are three total. Blue, pink and red if I'm not mistaken. Keep looking. I think I actually saw the other one. I just failed to pick it up. So, I guess that's what I should do. Because I think I saw it in one of the rooms down here. Uh, it must be the other room on the table. I just, yeah. Sure, that, that should be all three. Now we can go back to the wizard man. And yeah, I definitely do feel like I skipped a big part of the dungeon at the start with all those lizards that blocked the way and everything. Uh, we might have to come back and check that out. But for now, let's continue. Have you found the gems? Wonderful. I will keep my word and break the seal. With that, you may pass and collect Meryl's brooch. Use it wisely, human. I can only hope Asari knows what she's doing. Farewell. Bye bye. Okay, what's over here then? There's some enemies and. Nothing? Really? Hmm. Well, I dodged all the enemies, so it didn't really matter that I backtracked. And yeah, I know I'm. I wanted to say, I know I'm dodging battles, but then right as I say it, of course I enter battle. But yeah, it's because I'm I'm pretty high leveled already at this point, so I'm not too worried about grinding up more. You found Meryl's Brooch. Lita can, and now has the knowledge of Holy Light, a healing spell that also cures status ailments and revives fallen allies. And that's a good spell. Looks like... It looked just like Diane's ring, would would it would if it were a brooch. Same materials, same gems, same runes even. These artifacts were all crafted by the same smith, each enchanted by one of the elven high lords and ladies. Two others remain. At this rate, it seems we will find them soon. It seems so. Let's so continue along here. I guess these long stairs down. Oh, and here we Okay, so we wait. We yeah, that's over there. We have been through there already. So if we jump down again here, does this get us back to the start? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is back over at the start. So I guess we can now finally see what all of this is about. That is a lot of bad guys. I don't think we can take them all at once. Oh, right, so that's why we need to dispel the thing. I get it. I get it. Was there anything done? No. Okay. Okay, so I guess we need to go back to the mystery guy now. And, uh... Get stuff done. Uh, maybe I'm taking a long way around. That's okay. I'm not too worried. As long as I get there. I'm I'm okay. So yeah, let's uh climb oh let's climb the ladder and get back in. I don't know how I dodged that one enemy because I literally went through it, but sure I'll take it. Wait, no, I needed to be up there. I am dumb. 
Let me actually get back there real quick. Do I need to be down here? And then up there maybe? I guess I had to be up here the entire time. Okay, I'm just dumb, but let's uh, proceed. You have the artifact, Meryl's brooch at long last. How did you know what it was called? I can't give it to you, but I'll... Ah! Abyss, I can't move. What's happening here? Stasis magic. Sorry, Kazu, can you break through it? I'll make an attempt, but I doubt it. But this man lacks indestructible magic. He makes up for with physical alteration. It's rather impressive, actually. I'm glad you approve, sorceress. Now watch as I bring Arafel to her knees. The four of you will make a suitable offering, I think. Ririmsi, arise! Huh, I'll never trust anyone in a mosque. That really should be the first rule of adventuring. Or hoods. Rise, demon. Do my bidding. Give me the power to take Arafel's my possession. Give me your power. Accept this offering. Okay, that's a creepy looking monster. Yes, yes, nothing can stand in my way now. Creature, devour these fools. What? N no demon, not me. Attack those people behind me. Stop, I brought you to life. R Ramsey, no! Yeah, that's what you get. That idiot, now we have to clean up this mess. Not the first time we'll be cleaning up somebody's mess. Won't be lost either. Here, search the enemy for weaknesses. 2100 HP, 250 attack, 350 mind, okay. It doesn't even have any MP, so that's pretty neat. Rurimsi, the Archfiend, is a multi-headed beast. All of its head must be severed in order to defeat it. It will gradually weaken as each head is cut. Okay, well luckily, I have attacks like Cyclone 2. That doesn't really hurt quite as much as I would have hoped. Uh, Lita, how about Sunlight Fury? See, that does a little bit better. Oh, oh wow, those attacks hurt like heck. Okay, that one did well too. Uh, we need some um, Song of the Elves in here. So let's go with that and then... Adrian should get another attack. Oh, Lita first gets another attack. Um, I guess we'll just attack head number one. And Adrian can do another cyclone. There we go. That does pretty well. Uh, those heads hurt though. Those heads definitely, definitely hurt. Elemental burst. Hmm. Okay, Doran. I'm tempted to go for another song of the elves but i know that's risky with his health but i'm gonna risk it because i think it's the best for the team if this uh, goes through uh let's try holy light heals cures revives okay but let's do a multi-shot here that does quite well multi-shot as well okay and yes doran did survive still so that that's definitely good news uh, let's do another. Oh, we can't do elemental burst on all anymore. We can if we defend for one turn, so we will do that. Adrian, you just attack head number one. It appears to be uh, the one that we've damaged the most so far, so I'm gonna keep attacking it and hopefully take down one of the heads. Okay, yeah, now is definitely a time for uh, heal all. He definitely needed it, so that was a good timing. We're doing pretty good. I think we're in good shape. Let's do another elemental burst. Nice, nice. Alita, uh, attack had one. Okay, good. One of the heads is down. That is ideal. Uh, that means that we're now going to focus on head number two. Whenever I can't do multi-hit attacks. Uh, Doran, let's see. One target plus 100 magic. Actually... That on Sarikesu would be so nice. Okay. Uh, let's attack head number two. And then you can do an elemental burst. 
that's now being powered up. And there we go, another head is gone. And Lita and Adrian should be able to do their multi-hit attacks this turn. Let's go for a multi-shot. Yep, another head seems to be gone. And Cyclone 2. That does pretty well. Um, okay, what do I want Doran to do here? I think... I think I'm just gonna have him defend this turn. Uh, we can't do Elemental Burst. I'm tempted. Let's try a Fire on all. Let's see how much that does. Oh, that, that did enough to get us to victory. Okay. 12,000 experience and some Essence and Herbs. By the way, I just forgot, but off-screen while backtracking to here, both Sari Keisu and... Um, Doran leveled up already. The Archfiend has been defeated. Those are tornadoes and yep, it looks like that group has disappeared. Hopefully the human demons are gone now. Let's get out of here before something else weird happens. It sounds like a good plan to me. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a good plan to me. Uh, first of all, let's give Adrian a defense boost. Just because. Yeah, let's use this teleport. There we go, that works nicely to get us across. Okay, you're in the way. Okay, screw that battle. That battle actually ended up killing Lita. But, uh, we should be okay. Oh, there are more enemies. Um, well, in that case... Lauren, let's uh, go ahead and heal Lita up a bit. I think we should be good for the rest. Uh, let's see. Nothing here? Okay. Let's keep moving on then. Let's keep going through here. Doesn't appear to be a lot of special things around. Yeah, those guys stand no chance against Elemental Burst. Okay, Lita, what do we want to do for you this turn? Um, I'm not sure... Maybe your intelligence? Yeah, well, why not? I'm, I'm not really sure what I want to do with Lita. But uh, that, that should work. I'm not min-maxing my stats or anything anyway, so I'm not gonna go for the ultimate builds that are perfect for everything or whatever. I'm just uh, playing and basically going with my gut on these things and seeing what I think will help me out. That's basically what I use. Oh, wait, cool. We can go behind that rock. Mm, is this the pot that we even need to take, or is this the wrong pot? I sometimes cannot tell. Well, we're in a dark room here. Diane's got it. Yeah, we made it through. So here we are. Diane's got it. Yikes, the air changed way too hot to way too cold just like that. Legend has it the elves that first inhabited this place angered the goddess, so she cursed the land. Whether, whether that's true, I can't say, but the warm air from the Cave of Life flows from here to the highlands and only in that direction. Diane's gully is treacherous and was not well traveled even before Miranda bucked away. Be cautious. Well, let's hurry up. I'm freezing my ass off here. I'm sorry, Lita, but you're gonna have to freeze your ass up for a little while longer because I think that's gonna take care of it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then consider subscribing to my channel down below. And while you are down there, maybe leave a thumbs up on this video. And I will see you all in the next one.